anime fans, it's October, which means it's time to break out all of the spooky anime. <laughs> I guess this is it. The door to the outside. So today, we're going to break down some of our favorite anime that give us the creeps. Don't worry if you don't see your favorite anime on this list. Just leave us a comment and we'll take that into consideration for next year's list. And this is our top 10 anime to give you nightmares. Number 10, Angels of Death. When Rachel wakes up in the basement of an unfamiliar building, she finds that she has lost all of her memories. As Rachel tries to get clear of the basement, she runs into Zack, a scythe-carrying serial killer wrapped from head to toe in bandages. Much to Zack's surprise, Rachel begs him to kill her. If you would, kill me, please. But as a natural-born predator, Zack longs to feel the fear from his victim before he kills them. Eventually, the two come to an agreement. If Rachel can help Zack to escape their imprisonment, he will help her escape this life. This odd promise brings these two together and creates a bizarre pairing that is entertaining to watch. Where are they? Why are they trapped? And what is the destiny they have been looking for? Although the characters and plot may not be as deep as some of the other anime on this list, it's the overall tone and atmosphere of this anime that lands it in our number 10 spot. You can watch Angels of Death on Funimation, Crunchyroll, and Hulu. Number 9, Black Butler. Black Butler is the traumatic story of a young boy who sells his soul to a demon in order to exact vengeance on the people who murdered his parents. Humans are a breed apart, trampling each other like insects. Petty and small and nasty, we're more demonic than demons are. <laughs> However, in this video we're focused on Season 3, Book of Circus. Ciel and the demon butler Sebastian are summoned by the Queen to investigate multiple reports of missing children. When their underworld contacts reveal the disappearances increase when the mysterious Noah's Ark Circus comes to town, the demonic duo must impress an enigmatic ringmaster in order to go undercover as performers, to Sebastian's delight and Ciel's disgust. What makes this season disturbing is the playful way that it treats gruesome and horrific deaths. In one particular scene, children are hypnotized to see a string of murders as fun and exciting entertainment. For this reason, Black Butler makes the list at number 9. You can watch Black Butler on Funimation and Hulu. Number 8. School Live why would anyone form a school living club? Could four girls, their advisor, and a puppy really love their school so much that they'd want to live in it? Or is there another reason? Something that lurks behind the facade of their comfortable existence? Something that waits outside their school's doors? Something that has already robbed one girl of her sanity? While the others try to come to grips with a dark new reality, the rest of the world falls to ruin at the hands of a ravenous force, and insanity may be the last hope for survival. Shocks, heartbreak, and stunning revelations await as the twisted tale unfolds. This anime makes our list due to the dark tones and unnerving contrast of Yuki's blissful delusions with the horrors of reality. For us, this means that School Live comes in at number 8. You can watch School Live on Crunchyroll, High Dive, and Hulu. Number 7, Shiki. From the studio that brought you Black Butler and Full Metal Alchemist emerges the psychological thriller that will send you to bed with a cross in hand. When citizens of a secluded village begin dying off in alarming numbers, the Seoul Hospital's head doctor tries to desperately save his patients, but his efforts are in vain. Entire families are wiped out while others desert their homes. All hell breaks loose as the villagers discover their loved ones' corpses are rising from the grave with an insatiable thirst for human blood. Haunting, hallucinogenic, and unnerving to the core, Shiki stares into the hearts of both the hunter and the hunted. Who is safe when the urge to kill in order to survive blurs the line between man and monster? This anime makes our list because it was honestly hard to choose who to root for. Making us sympathize with the man-eating monsters lands Shiki a spot at number 7. 
You can watch Shiki on Funimation and Hulu. Number 6. Death Note A Shinigami as a god of death can kill any person, provided they see their victim's face and write their victim's name in a notebook called a Death Note. One day, Ryuk, bored with the Shinigami's lifestyle and interested in seeing how a human would use a Death Note, drops one into the human realm. High school student and prodigy Light Yagami stumbles upon the Death Note and, since he deplores the state of the world, tests the deadly notebook by writing a criminal's name in it. When the criminal dies immediately following his experiment with the Death Note, Light is greatly surprised and quickly recognizes how devastating the power that has fallen into his hands could be. With this divine capability, Light decides to extinguish all criminals in order to build a new world where crime does not exist and people worship him as a god. Watching Light spiral into darkness was a terrifying experience because it makes you realize how easy it would be for any of us to be corrupted with that kind of power. Not to mention, the Shinigamis and their realm are pretty terrifying. For this reason, Death Note lands at number 6. You can watch Death Note on Crunchyroll, Hulu, and Netflix. Before we continue, I just want to remind you that if you're enjoying this content, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and also click the little bell so that you'll get notifications when we publish new content. All right, number five, The Promised Neverland. Surrounded by a forest and a gated entrance, the Gracefield house is inhabited by orphans happily living together as one big family, looked after by their mama, Isabella. Although they are required to take tests daily, the children are free to spend their time as they see fit, usually playing outside, as long as they do not venture too far from the orphanage, a rule they are expected to follow no matter what. However, all good times must come to an end, as every few months a child is adopted and sent to live with their new family, never to be heard from again. One night, an orphan named Connie is sent away to be adopted, but Emma and Norman follow her after noticing that she left her stuffed toy, Little Bunny, back at the house. At the gate, they find Connie dead, and they realize the truth of their existence in this orphanage, to be raised, eventually butchered, and sold as meat to a species known as demons. Determined to break out of Gracefield House, Norman and Emma join with Ray to find a way to escape along with their other siblings. Anytime you can focus a series around farming and eating children, that's guaranteed to land you a spot on this list. In this case, at number 5. You can watch The Promised Neverland on Funimation, Crunchyroll, High Dive, and Hulu. Number 4. Another. When 15-year-old Koichi transfers into Class 3-3, he soon discovers that a strange, gloomy mood seems to hang over all the students. He also finds himself drawn to the mysterious, eyepatch-wearing student, Mei Misaki. However, the rest of the class and the teachers seem to treat her like she doesn't exist. Paying no heed to warnings from everyone, including Mei herself, Koichi begins to get closer not only to her, but also to the truth behind the gruesome phenomenon plaguing Class 3-3. Another follows Koichi, Mei, and their classmates as they are pulled into the enigma surrounding a series of inevitable, tragic events. But unraveling this horror may just cost them the ultimate price. Another creates such a gloomy and dreary atmosphere it keeps you on the edge of your seat and continuously pushes you down a path to darkness. And that's why Another takes the number four spot. You can watch Another on Crunchyroll and Hulu. Number three, Attack on Titan. Centuries ago, mankind was slaughtered to near extinction by monstrous humanoid creatures called Titans, forcing humans to hide in fear behind enormous concentric walls. What makes these giants truly terrifying is that their taste for human flesh is not born out of hunger, but what appears to be out of pleasure. To ensure their survival, the remnants of humanity began living within defensive barriers, resulting in 100 years without a single Titan encounter. However, 
That fragile calm is soon shattered when a colossal titan manages to breach the supposedly impregnable outer wall, reigniting the fight for survival against the man-eating abominations. After witnessing a horrific personal loss at the hands of the invading creatures, Aaron Yeager joins the brutal war against the Titans and races to discover a way of defeating them before the last walls are breached. Attack on Titan creates a feeling of dread from the very first episode. It's difficult to watch without feeling like everyone is simply doomed to die. This existential anguish is the reason that Attack on Titan makes it to the number three spot. You can watch Attack on Titan on Funimation, Crunchyroll, Hulu, and Netflix. Number 2, Junji Ito Collection. In the light of day and in the dead of night, mysterious horrors await in the darkest shadows of every corner. They are unexplainable, inescapable, and undefeatable. Be prepared or you may become their next victim. Sit back in terror as traumatizing tales of unparalleled terror unfold. Tales such as that of a cursed jade carving that opens holes all over its victims' bodies. Deep nightmares that span decades. An attractive spirit at a misty crossroad that grants cursed advice. And a slug that grows inside a girl's mouth. Tread carefully for the horrifying supernatural tales are not for the faint of heart. Junji Ito Collection has something scary for everyone. Similar to The Twilight Zone or Black Mirror, you will dive down a variety of horrific rabbit holes that are sure to leave you dreading your desire to come back for more. That's why Junji Ito Collection lands at our number two spot. You can watch Junji Ito Collection on Funimation and Crunchyroll. And number one, Tokyo Ghoul. Tokyo has become a cruel and merciless city, a place where vicious creatures called ghouls exist alongside humans. The citizens of this once great metropolis live in constant fear of these bloodthirsty savages and their thirst for human flesh. However, the greatest threat these ghouls pose is their dangerous ability to masquerade as humans and blend in with society. Based on the best-selling supernatural horror manga, Tokyo Ghoul follows Ken Kaneki, a shy college student who is instantly drawn to Rize, an avid reader like himself. However, Rize is not exactly who she seems. Wow, I've really made a mess of you, haven't I? Uh-oh, it looks like you died on me. And this unfortunate meeting pushes Kaneki into the dark depths of the ghoul's inhuman world. In a twist of fate, Kaneki is saved by the enigmatic waitress, Toka, and thus begins this new secret life as a half ghoul, half human, who must find a way to integrate into both societies. Tokyo Ghoul tops the list for a few reasons. His transformation into a ghoul is terrifying to watch, and Kaneki almost begins a descent into madness before he is saved by some fellow ghouls. The monsters in this show are remarkably human. This show is a perfect execution of the classic horror trope, who are the real monsters. You can watch Tokyo Ghoul on Funimation and Hulu. So that's it, folks. What do you think? Do you agree with our list? Or did we miss some really important anime that should have made it onto this list? If so, no need to be upset. Just let your voice be heard. Leave us a comment and we'll make sure your comments are taken into consideration for next year's video. Until next time.